Drummers, musicians, music aficionados, drummer, drum teacher, Tim Conley here today with a bittersweet drum reaction video as I'm doing Taylor Hawkins with the Foo Fighters drum solo from a few years back. Obviously, it's bittersweet because he just passed away recently, unexpectedly and shockingly. I, I'm still having a hard time getting my head around it, to be totally honest, because... Um, he was only 50 years old, and in his prime, drumming-wise, the guy was just a monster. Uh, you know, he had so much energy. The Foo Fighters as a whole is probably one of the most energetic bands you're ever going to see. Taylor was revered in the drum world, in the music world. Very gifted player. He wasn't uh, an educated player, but he was a very, very good feel player and able to play things at extreme high levels of energy. That was his big thing, you know, and that's why I loved him. I, I don't play like Taylor, but I admire guys that can play with that much energy and not get tired. You know, the guy was in great shape too. That's, that was another thing as well. So I'm going to react to a, a solo here. Um, I'm not totally familiar with it. I have seen Taylor play, but I'm not totally familiar with this solo. Anyways, let's let's run through it and check it out. Okay, so it looks like he's got a bass and right hand snare ostinato playing some musical phrasings against that ostinato with his left hand. <clears throat> and then he just changed it, <laughs> of course. I love those Gretsch drums, fantastic drum kit. And I love those concert toms, very Neil Peartish. The drums are tuned really high. Oh, split screen, that's cool. You know, his fluidity and movement around the kit is unbelievable. So smooth. A lot of this kind of almost molarish technique that he's utilizing. And look how loose his grip is. Again, molar and holding the stick like this. Very loose. That's exactly what I teach. And he's having so much fun, that's the most important thing. Yeah, man, uh, those drums have got a lot of plated reverb on them. Draw the crowd in. Now he puts the snare on. Oh, he's got a jam block. I see it now. I can hear it, but I didn't understand where it was coming from. those concert toms. So high pitched. <laughs> I love that. He is drawing the audience in. He's a performer, ultimately, not just a, a drum soloist. He brings that crowd in. John Bonham triplets, crossover John Bonham triplets, nice. element. This solo just changed. There's Dave. It would have been fun if they both played together, but this is going to be the next closest thing. Guitar versus drums. Pinching the string and moving his way along the string. 
I'm not a guitar player, but that's what I assume he's doing. Guitar players, let me know in the comments. Or drummers that play guitar. Musical. I always love musical solos. And the way they're staring each other down. <laughs> I love it. You can feel it's building. It's building. We're gonna go into a tune here, no doubt. Yeah. Man, great fills. Awesome. We're actually going to stop it there just because uh, I just wanted to do the solo section of this particular uh, video. But um, he, that energy level, the way he moves his arms when he's playing, it's very molarish in his in the way that he plays, and it's such high energy, and he gets so much bounce off those um, hits. It's just incredible. This is what makes him such a great player, you know. Ah, it's like I said at the beginning, it's bittersweet. I, I love Taylor. It's sad to watch this and then think he's not with us anymore. But at the same time, the sweet is we have these videos and we can go and watch him play anytime. Now, I know that Dave has been gutted by this whole thing. Uh, I'm sure that um, all the guys in the band are gutted by it, his family members and everything, because it happened um, obviously by accident. Um, I think he had 10 different drugs in his system or something. Man, kids, stay away from drugs. I, um, I, I, I you know, I've toured. I, I've been around the drugs. I've never used them. Never. I've never been a drug user. I like to have the odd beer. Never drunk at a gig. I think maybe twice I was drunk at a gig, actually. But I was young and stupid. I've always pursued a more professional approach to music and stayed away from the drugs and the alcohol and you're going to live longer sadly uh you know taylor had his demons and they caught up to him and that's unfortunately what often happens especially with leading a rock star lifestyle but nonetheless excellent drum solo i'm thrilled with this uh video here to be able to share this with you my audience keep drumming Please like and subscribe. Keep watching my videos because I need some more watch time hours. <laughs> I'm very close to monetization. I just need a few more hours. A couple hundred hours, I think, is what I need to get monetized. So I want to keep putting the content out. I got lots of videos to put out and or lots of video ideas, I should say, that I want to put out. I do have a lot of new videos that I've recently put out. I want to keep it going. I do reactions, I do unboxings, I do lessons, I do reviews of gear, you name it, I do it all. Anything drum related. Tim Conley Drums. Thank you very much. Keep drumming. See ya.